The woman speaks to the man who has employed her son. By Lorna Goodis. Her son was first known to her as a sense of unease, a need to cry for little reasons, and a metallic tide rising in her mouth each morning. Such signs made her know that she was not alone in her body. She carried him full term, tight up under her heart. She carried him like the poor carry hope. Hope you get a break or a visa. Hope one child go through and remember you. He had no father. The man she made him with had more like him. He was fair-minded. He treated all his children with equal and unbiased indifference. She raised him twice, once as mother, then as father, set no ceiling on what he could be, doctor, earth healer, pilot take wings. But now he tells her he's working for you, that you value him so much, you give him one whole submachine gun, for him alone? He says you are like a father to him. She is wondering what kind of father would give a son hot and exploding death when he asks him for bread. She went downtown and bought three and one third of black cloth and a deep crowned and veiled hat for the day he draw his bloody salary. She has no power over you and this at the level of earth what she has are prayers and the mother's tears and that niece she uses them. She says psalms for him. She reads psalms for you. She weeps for his soul. Her eye water covers you. She is throwing a partner with Judas Iscariot's mother, the thief on the left hand side of the cross. His mother is the banker. Her draw, though, is first and last, for she is throwing two hands as mother and father. She is prepared. She is done. Absalom. <laughs> <laughs>